Welcome back to a brief recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting in Humboldt County, where Redwood Valley experienced Mad River flooding over the weekend. The damage both main access roads to a neighborhood, cutting off residents from outside help. Public Works says about 50 people became blocked by road washouts. Contractors were working on both sides to open roads up as quickly as possible. Near Montague, four children have been left orphaned after a deadly crash in Siskiyou County that claimed the lives of their parents. The children's aunt organized a GoFundMe to support the kids to cover things like counseling and aftercare from injuries to school expenses. If you want to help, we have a link to the fundraiser on KRCRTV.com. Some Cottonwood residents claim PG&E's recent undergrounding work left their residential road in worse condition than before it began. The utility says whenever they underground power lines, their method is to restore the road to its previous condition, if not a better one. The utility says a formal complaint was not made until Friday, but they sent a contractor out to assess damage yesterday. Residents in Chico gathered at the council meeting to voice their support for a rent stabilization ordinance for senior living mobile home parks like the one they live in. They say the company that owns the park has raised the rent repeatedly, forcing residents to make difficult decisions to make ends meet. We've yet to hear back from the Florida based company that owns the park for their response. And now we'll send you back to Preston with today's weather headlines. Yeah, and Ozzy, a pleasant day shaping up, and it's a good break day for you to get ready for that rain. It's on its way tomorrow, and it'll stick around into the middle of next week. We're looking at temperatures around 60 out of the coast, mid to upper 50s further inland. Again, cloudy skies not only there, but for the valley as well. Maybe some sun breaks possible further south this afternoon. Setting up for about 61 in Redding, maybe 60 in Red Bluff and Willows, and 59 there in Chico. Not a bad day with those light north breezes, but we are getting back to some nastier weather ahead. And I decided to call today Jantastic because it's January, and I thought that was the best closest pun I could get. The rain starts later on Friday and it sticks around all the way into the middle of next week, bringing several inches to pretty much every location. So prepare accordingly uh, and get ready for that out there. Why don't you ever call me Noztastic? Well, that doesn't quite work as a pun, but you are Noztastic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Prestastic, before oh, we go, you. we got to give one more shout out to the kids of Pacheco School. They came by and uh, they are going to take us out. All right. Make it a great day. You have a choice. Perfect. Okay. You don't have to listen. You don't have to see it. Five, four, three, two. Live local breaking news you can trust. This is the United States News Daybreak. <laughs> Hi, friends. We start the show with a live look outside this morning from Turtle Bay Cam. Hope you're off to a good start this minute on the community with my <laughs> Happy Wednesday morning, guys. <laughs>